Hi everyone, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. Now, if you haven't seen my uh, AMD 7000 series CPU reviews, then you can uh, go and find them on the channel. But one of the things that I did pick up on was the eco mode wasn't really that easy to enable. You have to go into the BIOS to be able to do it. Now, the, I'm going to show you today exactly how to do it. A very simple step-by-step -step guide and I'm going to make it uh, uh, quite basic to appeal to those of you that are coming into the PC Master Race for the first time. So for those of you that are seasoned veterans, then uh, please forgive me and uh, I'm, I'm not going to make it um, uh, like, I'm not going to assume anything, I'm going to take you through everything step by step. Now, eco mode, when I tested, so far I've tested the 7700X and the 7950X. Both of those, I got a massive drop, first and foremost, in temperatures, as you can see in the graph here. And secondly, was a greater reduction in uh, power usage. One of the things that you can see in some of the performance graphs is that despite the reduced temperatures and despite the reduced power usage, that their performance wasn't impacted as much. So you kind of get 90-95% of the performance with a huge reduction in power and temps. It almost feels like the eco mode should have been stock and then uh, the normal stock mode should have been pre precision boost overdrive and then we should have still then been left to have been able to have done some manual overclocking by ourselves. But matters not. One of the things that I have found with the board, and I'm going to bring the uh, mouse on this side of the keyboard, is that uh, trying to get a uh, into the BIOS from a restart can be quite difficult. I've only used the Hero so far, as in the uh, X670E ROG Hero, uh, but if you hit restart, then you have to be almost lucky to be able to get into the BIOS. So I'm going to say for the get-go, that you want to do a complete shutdown of your system and leave it a few seconds as well. In case you're wondering what the doorbell. So yes, the, the monitor is an Aorus FO48U. This is 4K, this is 120 Hertz, but most importantly, it is OLED. Anyway, so uh, I digress. Straight shutdown. Then normally what I end up doing, as you can hear I'm out of breath, because I just run up the stairs, what I end up doing is waiting for the lights to come on my keyboard. And then when it does, I start smashing delete. So lights on the keyboard. I am hitting delete and we are in the BIOS. So in the BIOS at the moment, everything is on auto. Now I'm doing this with the ROG board because the ROG board is the one that I've got built. The ROG board is the only one I've tested so far, but uh, you will be able to follow this relatively simple guide with the MSI and the Aorus as well, because effectively what you need to do is go into advanced, or it might be like onboard devices, they might call it, but what you're looking for, when we scroll down into advanced, is AMD overclocking. You Go in from there, hit accept, and then it brings you into this sub menu. Then what we need to do is go into Precision Boost Overdrive. What you want to do with Precision Boost Overdrive is go into Advanced, and then we go to PBO Limits, Precision Boost Overdrive Limits, and go Manual. Now, uh, what Eco Mode effectively allows us to do is the 7600X and the 7700X are 105 watt parts. The 7900X and the 7950X are 170 watt parts. So what we effectively do is we tell the uh, 7900 and the 7950 they are 105 watt, and we tell the 7700 and the 7600 they are actually only 65 watt parts. So we're effectively turning the TDP down. Now the numbers that you're going to need for the two of these go into these. You can see PP, PPT, TDC and EDC. And what we effectively need to do, I've put the numbers on the screen for you, 
is 88,075,150,000. And that is the numbers that you'll need for the 7,700 and the uh, 7,600. If we were to go for the 7,900 and the 7,950, uh, X, then what we would need to do is 142,000, 110,000, and 170,000. Now you do need to go careful because I've missed out the zero at the top. I need to go one, four, two, zero, zero, zero. And that's literally all we need to do. The only other thing that I would say to make sure that you keep an eye on while we are in the BIOS. If you go to Extreme Tweaker with the Asus, you can see the AI Overclock Tuner. If you go there and go to Expo 1, that is effectively what we used to do with XMP, and that is telling your memory to run at its rated speed. It enters all of the sub-timings in, it enters the voltage in, and it tells it the speed that it should run at, where mine is 6,000 megahertz. It would have only been running at 4,800 megahertz had I not done that. So with the part that I actually have fitted, I need the initial numbers, 88,000, 75,000, 150,000, and then you hit F10, that is to save, then you hit OK. It will save that into your BIOS. If you run into any problems. Most motherboards have a BIOS clear switch on the back or actually some pins on the board themselves that you can uh, just hit with a screwdriver. You'll need to look at your motherboard manual to be able to do that, but most of them have an actual switch on the board somewhere that you can just press and it will clear all your settings and put you back to complete stock. If you struggle with that, then you can remove the battery that's on the motherboard for 30, 60 seconds. Make sure you unplug the mains uh, before you start messing around with that. And that will also clear your motherboard BIOS as well. Now, when it does reboot into the BIOS, I've got the 7700X fitted. This will now be acting like a 65 watt part. And just to bring up again, the power and the temperatures, you can see the 7700 in there uses significantly less power, significantly less voltage. Uh, sorry, significantly less heat with the thermals. This is going to help you if you're running a slightly lower end cooler. Maybe you want to build a slightly quieter system. But again, the performance, both with gaming and multi-threaded stuff, is still incredibly close to what it would have been at stock. I almost think that stock is kind of a little bit of a stretch too far with this, and they needed a little bit of reining in. You can do similar sort of things with turning the voltages with a negative offset or a manual fixed uh, voltage, but slightly lower down. I ended up with a manual overclock using the same um, uh, uh, like volts and settings. And I actually managed to, with some of the tests, be able to have lower temps than I did at stock, just to kind of show you uh, the kind of levels that you can get to with it. But that is our uh, 7000 series enable your eco mode guide go and enjoy this yes is very simple and just the start but it's just something I wanted to make for you guys at home so that you can go and test this and try this and see whether this might be something you're going to want to run on more of a day-to-day -day basis and then save a manual overclock or precision boost overdrive for those days when you are benchmarking or have uh, you're just wanting to have that little bit more fun Maybe the window's open and you haven't got to worry about temps. Uh, but please let me know. It, uh, please like, subscribe and comment. And there is also, most importantly, a written guide underneath so that you can go and follow that in a step-by-step -step as well. The numbers that you need are also on the website so that you can uh, go and copy and paste those or take little notes down so that you know what you need to do. But uh, I will keep an eye on the comments underneath. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you. Out. Ding. Afterthought. Love you, sis. That's a pretty bad way to end it. Afterthought. Love you, sis. I obviously love you, sis, but the ding was the afterthought.